Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful souls, like they say. Today, we're going to have a conversation. Because <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love I love your beautiful headdress. It's absolutely amazing. Good girl, 25. Regressed in age. Thank you. <laughs> You're getting younger every day you. that we see you. And yeah. my heart. Mm -hmm. It's feeling bigger. Right. Like the Grinch, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are going to talk about what you're preparing for us today. Always something beautiful, always something special. We have to talk about it first. We have to get it off our chest. And mm -hmm. so you were saying this is going to be about resonant tuning. Mm -hmm. And that brings to mind the word resonate. And here it is, we're in this season of growth. You know, it's funny because I guess we're gonna be in the season of also, is it gonna be a time for us to rest and hibernate as well? Because if you think about it, it's, it's almost December, mm -hmm. it's time to slumber. So you just tell me, go where you need to go to bring these into view so we understand what it is we're, going to be dealing with what we are because we're changing constantly changing so um i'll go first and then jonathan can yeah. add what he wants but so you know like there's different people have different explanations for what resonant tuning is but m my view on this is that we have to let out the sounds and our voice. And so by allowing ourselves to resonant tune, we are bringing ourselves into a frequency and releasing, we're releasing discordant frequencies. And then we're connecting with our soul's frequency. So by doing a resonant tuning, we're um, releasing the stuff that doesn't that doesn't no longer resonates with us so that's what it, it's that's why it's resonant tuning it, those some things don't resonate and so sometimes we can't put it into words you know how for example when when we get really angry or frustrated we go ah! that's a resonant tuning because we're releasing a frustration from our body so by doing, allowing ourselves that voice, because we have been so suppressed by our voice, we can't say this, we can't say that. It's like, oh, I got to shut my mouth. And, and so what happens? We get closed up in this, <laughs> the blue, the throat chakra. So the resonant tuning is helping us to release those discordant energies that are, are no longer part of our, uh, that are no longer on our journey, that we're releasing so that we can continue on our journey. We can release those energies without necessarily naming them. Mm -hmm. Does that, does that make sense? It's a frequency. So we're just releasing a frequency by doing that. And as we start to do a resonant tuning, then it becomes a, a clearer sound, you know, like it may be, uh, and then all of a sudden it goes, ah, like, wow, it's like, how did this happen? So using our voice to release it, it um, release the energies is an amazing tool that we can have. And so um, it's something you can do at any time, but mm -hmm. we can bring it into a morning ritual. Jonathan? <laughs> yes, you can bring it into a morning ritual, but, you know, you go back to what the what that one thing was you know they say you feel you feel that you feel like i need to scream and okay go take a pillow and scream into the pillow and what 10 out of 10 times that person feels better when they do that right so it's it's about just really using that that voice and that re inner resonance or whatever you feel in that moment um you know and we go back and when you know when i was in school and music class in grade one and grade two and that's when they were kind of observing your your scale your your resonant scale in music class sort of thing 
And they're like, oh, you, they would go around me like, okay, you're not a singer. You're not a singer. You're not. So that basically kind of then, okay, doesn't allow you to inspire you to use your voice. Right. So everybody has their own resonance for their own body for every moment. And the idea in this morning ritual is just, do you know, you use, uh, uh, oh, anything you anything that you feel that resonates with you and the idea is you find that resonance that vibrates your chest in your heart and when you find that space that resonates that chamber this is what allows your pure essence of your vibration to come through and to release whatever needs to be released and it's a it's a sound massage for your body is the greatest tool for your massage for your healing in a moment is you nothing like your voice. And, and you so, know, just just saying is why do people like to sing in the shower? Mm -hmm. Right. They mm -hmm. just that it reverberates it, it reverberates around them. So they feel good singing in the shower. And they don't care if anybody else but it's it's that freedom to release what you've got trapped inside you so you know if if singing in your shower is your morning ritual hooray is it heart song is that did you use that word heart song yeah it would be yeah. a heart song yeah yeah some people like the hum oh, yeah if you're humming, humming singing, you feel it? Yeah. Wow. I, I i like doing a combination of the both because when i find when you hum it just takes into a deeper resonance right and you really you go into a lighter and then you bring into that grounding that low c right yeah and, yeah. and you know there's there's different techniques people will use they'll want to um go through the different sounds for the different chakras or you might do the you know the like um, the cob you know, like the, the, the sound of oh, the yeah. crystals. It, it doesn't matter what you use. There's no right or wrong. It's what you feel inside that you need to let go of, right? It, and, and just let it resonate through you. And uh, you know what? Who cares what you sound like? It's your, it's your ability to release it. And, and it's, uh, it's so empowering. And, and that's, it, it's a very empowering um, way to um, express the yeah. truth, mm -hmm. express and expand in that truth of that moment, that mindfulness, right? Uh, these, it makes me think of um, basically uh, survival functions that we need to acknowledge. And I'm saying that because I'm, I'm looking at this and it says most wild birds molt or shed their feathers heavily in the spring and in the fall. That's one. Mm -hmm. Snakes shed their skin. It's called ecdesis. And it occurs four to 12 times a year that they shed their skin. Okay. And for humans, we shed our skin, we lose 200 million skin cells every hour. Wow. We are constantly changing and constantly growing to the point where even our blood, I think our blood recycles, and I couldn't find the number on it, but you don't even have the same blood on a day-to-day -day basis. Your blood circulates, dies and recycles. Mm -hmm. on on a on a I think it is I don't know if it's the seven days but at least you know like the life cycle of a red blood cell is constantly changing and so we should not be so surprised when we in fact change and we should allow others to change I think that's a big thing is we we get like our last show said expectations of things to stay the same and we crave that thing of stability where we want to stay the same but we have to allow ourselves to shed tears and shed blood shed feelings emotions we have to consistently be open to change 
And I think this is what makes our relationships with other people so difficult. And I used to have this as a part of my uh, signature when I, on my emails was you, you may know me today, but that doesn't mean that you'll know me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. My decisions and my, my thinking change. Right. So definitely my energy and my heart needs to constantly be open to change. Mm -hmm. So I will let you all do your magic. Right. So um, what we're going to do is, is like, so we'll just put some structure in it today. And um, it doesn't mean that you have to do it, just go with your own flow. But today we'll do a structure and we're going to start with the vowel sound. So we'll go through A, A, E, I, O, U. And so if you want meaning you don't have to do it, you can sort of start with that A sound at the lower part of your body and then moving up and then we'll finish at the head part of your body. So then the energy is going to move from the from the top to the bottom just by the sounds that you have. And just notice within you what feels good or what doesn't feel good. And if it, if it feels kind of uh, wonky, then maybe that's the place where you need to bring your awareness and just release it. You know, we release through the breath, but imagine bringing your breath and your sound together, like, wow, that's so powerful to release in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I guess we will uh, start with A. Yeah. So... <clears throat> And uh, I have to say, I've always been self-conscious about it, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, I was that little, I was that kid in, in grade one. They were like, you're not a singer. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, my uncles and dad, and they were, they were all like doo-wop stars and all this. And like, how? And so it was just like, huh. It just really deflected that. But yeah, um, now it doesn't. Oh, I see. Now we just use our voice and, and we just express. So, so, you know, the best way to start this is make sure that you're sitting in an upright position uh, with your back straight and well, you could be standing, you could lie down too, but you're, you're going to get more of a, of a feeling of power if you're in that upright place, um, because it's about coming into your own power. So take a deep breath in and bring your awareness to the lower part of your body and just let the sounds come out. So we could do that sound of the vowel like A. So you could do like, ah. Settle. Moving up to I. Uh. Uh. 
to the head space with, with the you or ooh. just going to finish by just doing that universal sound of om just sit for a moment and just allow yourself to settle back in. And just take a quick scan of your body. And just notice if you feel any different than when you started. And just take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and welcome back. My ears were just at the end, just like just singing, ringing. You're on mute. 
I I thought I heard at one point that those are like A E I O U. Those are like God tones. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They feel like. Oh, I was almost wondering too. It made me think about the Gregorian monks and stuff. Like, yeah. like their yeah. music is so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, because they're using like the tones. Right. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and we find, we'll find whatever resonates for us, yeah. you know, like this was just an example. If, if you feel like you want to do another sound like Aum, A-U-M, you know, that there's, there's different sounds, but this was just an example to use. It's a good way to start. So maybe one time you'll take us through the chakra chart. Well, well, this is kind of what we did, but... Well, yeah. Ram, Sam, Ram. Uh -huh. yeah. No, you're yeah. gonna take us. You're gonna take us through it. You're gonna take us through it. No, <laughs> you're not getting off that easy. <laughs> Step two. Step two. But see, this is what you when at the end, when you when you perceive in your your body and you know for me what was happening it was like I was my body everything was ringing and singing. And so that was that I was I'm in a blissful state that blissful space, and yeah, like you were saying, that's the you were saying that is that the God tones? Well, I mean, you're in that God blissful moment, so you know it's however you get there and however your body, mind, and spirit resonates in sync with one another. So I mean, it could be those tones, it, like Terry was saying, it could be any tone that gets you into a blissful state of peace right of, of resonance and so yeah you could be driving down the street in the car you know how many people get frustrated instead of you know screaming certain you know other swear words or anything at people just resonate you know just ooh, or ah or or literally you may have to you know and people may you have to expend that aggressional uh, or you can turn on a Bon Jovi song and say, and like, you know, sing along with Bon Jovi yeah. with, you know, the, the, it, it's, it's and whatever you can, however you find that way to release it. And, and singing is so amazing to do that. Even if, you know, we're, we're whatever we want to sing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just, it's that resonance. And why, why does Allow music, the flow. Yeah. You know, why does some music just make us feel so high? Because it's just taking us onto those, that flow and those frequencies. So and our own voice can do that. I'm going to say, yeah, there, there's those other dissonance music, you mm. know, people like to use them to get their aggression out. And I'm not going to say um, it's wrong. I'm not saying it. You can't. I'm not saying that's that's. But it's about sitting in that. And how long will you stay in that space? Yeah. Right. Two songs I would tell you. Mm -hmm. I've I've known that people listen to that song. Move, get out the way, and yeah, they yeah, literally yeah. like yeah. it makes people like really aggressive, and people don't know why. Yeah. And then there's that song Happy with oh, yeah, Pharrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. almost driven off the road because I was like Happy. <laughs> I was like, oh. I had to like hold on, like wait a minute. Oh, you too happy. <laughs> exactly. you contain it a little bit. Yeah, I'm going off the road. You're Still ready, happy, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I can fly. Yeah, I yeah, I was gonna fly. fly. Yeah, <laughs> you you can fly. <laughs> going for the going for the railing. Yeah, yeah. You can fly. So another great day. Mm -hmm. Another great way to start the day. And we will see you again soon. Mm -hmm. And I say, namaste. Nah, I'm going to stay. No. <laughs> oh. I'm happy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Peace.